Uh, good morning to you all and welcome to another Sea Do uh, adventure video. And today I'm doing a group ride. I'm hosting one. So uh, we're doing it from here in Chippewa, Niagara Falls. I got a few people coming down now and we're going to make our way along the Niagara River. And the original plan was to go down to Port Coburn. Um, but unfortunately the weather has gone against us. Uh, this ride was supposed to happen the day before. We had to postpone it because it was it's supposed to forecast to be a completely washout. But it turned out to be alright yesterday but rather cloudy. But today is beautiful sunshine. Gusty though, that's the problem. So we don't know if we're going to make it to Port Coburn. Chances are very, very slim. So we're just going to do the Niagara River, have a ride around, check it all out and uh, have some fun and we'll go basically we're going around grand island which is the u.s island on the river there down down one way down to the peace bridge play in the rapids and then come back up the other way and so on maybe go up to the welland canal here the welland river i should say but it is pretty gusty as you can tell a couple of sea dudes here dave's just putting his in sorry steve sorry steve and dave's over there woody's over here greg and karen so uh We'll all be out shortly. Got a few more showing up. So anyway, this is Chippewa. It's a free boat ramp, by the way, park and launch. Uh, today, the temperature right now is about 12 degrees Celsius, 12, 24, 54 Fahrenheit, uh, but it is going up to 18, which is 66. Uh, but the winds are going to be land around about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour gusting, which is pretty strong. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Especially if he's falling in. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reverse on those things. What's that? Does that have reverse on it? You need help? No, I was going to watch him. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you get your feet wet? Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. I can help you. Because I don't want to go in. <laughs> there you go. Woody's going for a swim. <laughs> he didn't tie his boat, his uh, sea do up. We we shall name him Bob in training. <laughs> oh look at that, he's coming right back to you. That is just pure look like Woody. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? When I went over there he tied mine up. So I retied it up because it didn't look right. I was like, that's gonna blow it away. <laughs> Eleven skis, including myself. I think we're all here. All right, let's start the adventure. Uh, leaving Chippewa. Uh, we're gonna first stop will be to look at Niagara Falls and show everyone the breathtaking view from a mile away, basically. That's oh, like is it a mile? It's probably more like a kilometer, actually. And then we'll head around Grand Island, down to the International Railway Bridge, then the Peace Bridge. At this very moment in time, I had no idea what awaited me around the corner. This was us leaving the Welland River. And uh, once we got out onto the Niagara River, things took a little turn for the worse very quickly. Unfortunately, otherwise you're risking a fine and probably death as well.
Oh my god. Brilliant. Alright. Let's crack on. This is the, um, the the North Bridge, I believe. The Grand Island. Grand Island's just there. Let's get out of here. in here because of the wind they're like two or three feet at times very close together and you're just getting battered but it's so much good fun uh, the water temperature is still in the 70s which is beautiful You have to wait for the Yamaha. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? That's the biggest waves I've seen on the river. Yeah, that's big. Oh, but a Mick. That's me, keep holding on. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening to Mick Hucknell simply read, holding on. And look, <laughs> He's holding on for sure. It's like you turned round. <laughs> oh, who's? Oh, 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 someone lost a hat. It's usually Woody's job to lose a hat. Woody, how's that staying on? Usually it's off by now. <laughs> He's figured it out. He's figured it out. All right. The wind is a little chilly. I have to admit. There, there goes, there goes Andrew again. 
I thought he was going to stack it in the river back there when he was doing that. There he goes, he's going in. No, he's back out. Lake Erie is pretty rough once again. It's gonna to be too risky to go out there. <laughs> I'll laugh if he actually rolled it this time. He's going. All he needs is a wave to take him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Shit, that's two! <laughs> Twi thanks, mate! <laughs> Tell you what, there's some six footers just out there. It is like wild. <laughs>
six footer. There he goes. It is really wild. I mean, I wouldn't even attempt to go to Crystal Beach in this. So I'm gonna turn around, hit the river again, where I feel a bit safer. All right, gonna head back towards Chippewa. Get a coffee, then we'll make our way up the uh, river. Ay, 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 ay. And the winds are gonna be gusting 60 kilometers an hour now. Uh, 40 miles per hour. And you really feel it. Every now and then you go into sections of water where it just goes crazy like this. Ah! I mean, you can't even ride in this. I'm trying to find a way out of it. Try and keep the shore, I guess, a little bit more.
Uh, let's go use the washroom, grab a coffee, have a quick break, then we're going to go up the Welland River and have a look. All right, so I had a quick pit stop here. Oh, why is my camera going funny? Let's try that again. My camera's going funny. All right. Uh, I've had a quick break, and I think my camera may have water in it because it won't, the stability is all over the place. All right, camera's back to normal now. All right. Just waiting for the others to catch up. Don't know what they're doing. Anyway, uh, we're on the Welland River. This is going to take us down to the Welland Canal. That's as far as you can go, but we can open it up along here. There's a few no-wake zones, but otherwise you can open it up. Just a little tricky bit game by the QEW, because a little uh, narrow, a uh, little channel you have to make sure you go through, otherwise you'll hit a, a wooden stick or a bull pier or something. <laughs> The wind has really made today's uh, ride quite challenging. With all bodies of water, the uh, Niagara River, the Welland River, and also Lake Erie. But it's been great fun. Anyway, making our way down to the Welland Canal as far as we go on the Welland River. So, uh, yeah, carry on having some fun. So, this is the only tricky part about it here really got to kind of keep to the right. And away we go again. of the Welland River for this section. Just beyond that is the Welland Canal, then the other part of the river, but you can't get to it. Someone's uh, sea dude's a little thirsty, I think. fantastic ride today uh, it, it was better than I expected um, I thought the weather would put a damper on things but it turns out the weather actually made it more entertaining uh, the waves were amazing we all got drenched we got battered by a few waves there's a nice peaceful ride up the uh, into the, uh, the creek there and also down here 
and overall we just absolutely had a blast it really was a great ride i can't thank them enough the people that came out today thank you very very much for this ride i really enjoyed it we'll do another one in the near future if not we'll definitely put it in the books for next year as well try and get a few more uh but once the water's warm of course it was just absolutely brilliant so uh, a big thank you to all the people that joined me today Uh, we lost a couple on the way, we lost one uh, halfway down to the Peace Bridge. Uh, one person got a little, it, it, they weren't quite prepared, it was a little cold in the wind. Uh, and then the other couple just left before we went down the Welland River here. So they were with us for the, uh, up to Lake Erie and back. Uh, but they were from Owen Sound, so yeah, they had a long way to go. So uh, excellent, Ex absolutely brilliant. Five and a half hours. Not bad, we left at 10, it's now 3.30. Not bad for a mid-September run. Good. And he's still watching the Buffalo Bills. We're killing them now. <laughs> what a life.